wonder where those racing greyhounds go after they retire? Turns out they hope to get adopted and find a forever home. Kathy Evans is from the Cincinnati Dayton area Greyhound Rescue. She joins us this morning along with we have Dave mm -hmm. and this is Zach. Thank you gentlemen so much for coming and joining us this morning. They're a little camera shy, but I'm telling you they're so, <gasps> there he is. Oh, Dave's perfect. pretty bold. <laughs> Aww, he, he reached out. Now I want to touch on some very important things this morning. Mm -hmm. Tell me about these guys. Now, Greyhounds, we all think that they're high energy. They're going to take a lot of time and effort. Is that true? Couch potato dogs, <laughs> wonderful, mellow pets. Um, I think a lot of people are put off about adopting because they think they take a lot of exercise and a, and a large yard, and it's just not the case. They will sleep much of the day. They'll cuddle with you. They just want to be with their people. Now, why do you think people think? Because they are racing dogs? And right. That's why they think they're, they're some high energy? Or? The, the only image they, they have is this dog going 45 miles an hour around a racetrack. Mm -hmm. and, and they don't see the downside. So this, this is typical greyhound behavior. They're very quiet. They're not good guard dogs. They're, <laughs> they're too mellow to be a guard dog. But uh, very good family pets as long as your kids are a little older and can understand that you can't pound on a greyhound because there's no no fat um, right i mean they really are and is it normal for them to be that thin yes you want to be able to feel the ribs um, ideally see the last two ribs you need to keep them slender because these are athletes mm -hmm. and even though they're retired you want to maintain that nice athletic build why is it important? Is it, is it if they were to gain weight, is it a little more it's, risky health It's hard on their heart, and okay. they have these little skinny legs, so they don't want to be carrying extra weight. So you want them as healthy as possible to live as long as possible, which could be 12 plus years. Now, something kind of interesting, which I didn't even know about until you guys sent us some information, they tend to chatter their teeth? Does when, that mean they're scared? No, or? when they're very happy, they chatter their teeth. It's like a cat purr, mm -hmm. um, but sometimes you can hear it from one end of the house to the other. So. <laughs> Dave is loving the camera today. Well, what about, you know, how are they pretty, you know, do they stink a lot? I did read it because they only have one, was it one layer? It's one layer of hair, so they don't trap oil, so they don't get the doggy smell. It's a very clean breed. You wash them about once or twice a year. That's fantastic. Low maintenance. Yeah, yeah they really low are low maintenance. And yeah. how much does it cost to come out? And, and if you wanted to adopt, do you have certain requirements? For we do. Um, Adoption fee is two twenty-five. dollars mm -hmm. um, We do a phone interview, a personal interview, a home visit, and then we, we find the dog who is best, a best fit for your family, personality-wise. They come in a lot of different colors, so we don't try to match color. We just try to get the right fit personality-wise. Personality-wise. Yep. These guys, especially Dave, Dave is loving the camera this morning. <laughs> Zach, oh, you're going to come there over we and say go. hi. Well, we definitely want to thank you for being here, and we're going to have more information on the Greyhound Rescue Group on our website, Fox 45 now.com. Zach, you finally coming to say hello? No, I think. He is. no? Oh.